By the time the very first competition, Ready or Not, of my level 7 year came around, I was on track to having an awesome competitive season, maybe even making it to nationals. And then, when I least expected it, disaster struck. Thank you, Jamie. I really should have enjoyed that competition more. It would be my last. Like most unfortunate stories, mine started on a Monday. It was just an ordinary day at practice as I was working on my ribbon routine and my coach was watching and making some changes to my choreography. At one point, she told me to replace my butterfly leap with an arching stag leap. And so, I did the arch leap and then, well, I don't remember. Suddenly I was on the dirty gym floor and my coach was running across the gym to get me an ice pack. I was really confused. I had no idea what had just happened. All I knew was that I felt dazed and weird and that something had definitely gone wrong, though I didn't know what. When my coach came back, she pressed the ice pack to my head and she looked really panicked and worried. She made me sit down. I told her I was fine and I tried to pick up my ribbon and practice again, but she refused to let me and made me sit down and told me that I had just hit my head on the floor really hard. Even though the pain in my head was getting worse and worse, I kept trying to get up to practice over and over again, and each time my coach stopped me, but I wouldn't give up. We had a competition this weekend, and no way was I sitting out. My brain couldn't grasp the fact that I just seriously injured myself, but thinking back on it, by making me sit out, my coach saved me some, from serious and possibly deadly brain damage. At the time, I was still in denial, but now I know that the hard impact between my head and the floor had caused a concussion, which is a type of brain trauma. Concussions occur when the brain, which rests in a protective fluid inside the skull, is rocked so violently that it penetrates the fluid and bashes against the skull, causing a ping-pong effect. After any hard blow to the head, resting is crucial. Most of the time, concussions only cause temporary damage and with proper care, they can be fully recovered from. Directly after the concussion, the brain is extremely prone to a second concussion, which can be way more devastating, even deadly. I shudder to think when I, what might have happened if I'd continued to practice. I could have jostled my already traumatized brain, which could have caused inflammation, internal br bleeding, bruising, and maybe even permanent brain damage. I could have even died. When my dad came to pick me up, the first big mistake was made. We went home instead of straight to the emergency room, and I feel like face palming every time I think back on it, because if I had gone to the ER, I would have been informed about what I was going to feel and go through, and what the concussion protocol was. It's fair to say I would have healed quicker, because I wouldn't have strained my brain trying to go back to school the next two days after the injury, and I wouldn't have gone home and made it my second big mistake, opening my computer and doing a bunch of homework. By then I knew something was definitely wrong because my head felt raw, achy, and just strange, like a screw was missing or something. But despite the fact that it made me feel even worse, I finished my homework. Little did I know that my jostled, concussed brain was in desperate need of rest, both physical and cognitive. After a concussion, especially the first week, total rest is crucial. Straining the brains through stress, concentration, and physical activity after a trauma gets in the way of the neurons, which are desperately trying to rewire themselves. Recovering from a concussion is nothing like recovering from a sprained ankle or any other conventional injury. With a sprain, you can just ice and rest the injury while reading or doing whatever the heck you want. The only thing that hurts is the ankle itself, and everything else is perfectly intact. Concussions don't work like that. A concussion is a brain injury, and the brain is the command center of the body. Without the brain, nothing else works. After a concussion, it's not just the head that hurts. There's a rainbow of ugly, debilitating symptoms, which can include headaches, dizziness, nausea, fatigue, 
irritability, anxiety, insomnia, trouble with concentration and memory, noise and light sensitivity, loss of coordination, loss of balance, loss of sanity. In severe cases, there can even be numbness, tingling, slurred speech, inability to walk, and excessive vomiting. These can be signs of internal bleeding, which can be deadly. The above symptoms can be present for days, months, to a year after the initial injury. This is called post-concussive syndrome, or PCS. It's hard for others to understand what people going through PCS are going through. There's no cast in our brains showing we're sick. It's all on the inside, and unless you've gone through it yourself, it's hard to comprehend. Not only are the symptoms debilitating, but any action, both physical and mental, slow the healing process and make the symptoms worse. While I was suffering from PCS, I was banned from using screens, doing heavy reading, writing, and anything that strained my brain and forced me to concentrate. For about a whole month, I lived in a blur of pain, ice packs, pills, disappointments, and helplessness. It felt like it would never end. The healing process was extremely slow and bumpy. One day I'd feel a little better and then the next day I'd just go right back to feeling completely rotten again. But finally, I began to feel consistently better and soon I was completely cleared, just in time for the competition I was really looking forward to and desperately hoping to go to, LA Cup. I was ecstatic when I was cleared. It meant I could go to the competition that I had been wanting to and just forget that this whole thing ever happened. Everything was finally going to work out, and I was finally going to get back to what I loved. Right? Well, not so much. The concussion was just the beginning. The worst was yet to come. Right, good job.